Get a teeny tiny SIM card in your unlocked phone. Realise on a crowded train you've illegally imported contraband. Go to Shibuya Crossing at 6am and at no other time. Serious about that one. Buy some table tennis team jerseys. Go to Otomiyama Park in Mejiro. It's quiet and unkempt, like your mother. Buy two disgusting clowns. Buy some used pants, because yes, turns out that's a thing. Frolic in the utilitarian wonderland that is Japanese system design. But don't you dare touch that cock lever. Visit an Appa Hotel, a family-owned business owned by this woman who owns a large amount of hats and her husband who owns many obscene opinions about Jewish people. Visit this house in the middle of Shibuya that looks like Henry VIII has been sick on it. Go to a beautiful classic arcade, walk straight past Turbo Outrun and play some Marble Madness. Watch a man film himself playing arcade games on his PlayStation Vita. Remove a teenage girl's school uniform piece by piece in public. Pop into snobbish babies because they make clothes for dogs. Visit the best bookshop in the world. It's so good, it's got a fucking car in it. Who wants to read a book when you can read a car? Study at Le Cordon Bleu, the premier food academy designed by an architect who'd been at the cooking sherry. What am I going to call my real estate company? You only get one chance to make a first impression. Ball eggs! Visit this massive building to pick up a ticket for the world's largest Starbucks next door. Why? Well, capitalism. I found this in my Airbnb. Can I eat it? Hey, look, a dog hotel up top, chocolate shop below because Dogs love chocolate and it's not poison. Fucking prove it. Dismantle your oven. Hey, everyone, look at me. I'm in Akihabara and I'm a bellend. Go to an arcade, but never kick people. Play a denture to go instead. Drive a train someplace and be confused. Stop pretending you're somehow better than the people going to the robot restaurant and go to the robot restaurant. Oh, someone needs a HDMI cable. Sing Beatles songs with this gigantic old man in a very small bar. Behold the butter butler. Meet the delicious Pentagon. Head to Miyazaki and gaze upon the devil's washboard. This devil got abs. Climb the stairs to nowhere. Check out the Miyazaki Peace Tower, built during a big fucking war. Whoa, daddy's body is weird. Hijack a train because you know how to do it now and drive to Kagoshima and check out Sakurajima. It's a big fucking volcano that's been erupting forever. People actually live on an active volcano, but never the butter butler. Ah, the embarrassed watermelon. These cats have peeled this guy and they're about to feast upon his guts. Adorable. Less adorable, go to a second-hand shop and buy some handguns. Or a Nagoya harp. Or some summer lemon cake. Go to Osaka. Steal a hotel trouser press from the corridor. Have a drink in America Mura like a bloody oik. Have a takoyaki in a taco. What? Avoid this absolute shite. Have some cheese and tea together. Have an iced orange brulee latte. Go to a 7-Eleven, check out this boiled egg with superior see-through shell. Oh, look, a tiny baby egg for babies. Take a trip with a taxi driver that was born 85 years ago and wish that your body was made of seatbelts. Enjoy perfect gyoza with a man who should surely be in prison. Buy a tactical vest for your cat for the forthcoming cat war. Call your mother and tell her you're coming home because you don't like it here anymore. And then call your mother a terrible whore fucking four fingers. Try and find out what your friend's pin number is so you can steal his money and buy Pig Hitler. Go to the airport and buy a Pokemon because Pig Hitler was too big for your carry-on. Get on your plane home and treat yourself to a shake shake cream in the airport lavatory. Have a coolish. 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 